And I got Flo here in my chair. Let's see what she looks like. How are you, Flo? Fine. Flo was like, I want a video of how to do my eyes, my brows, everything like that, right? Really? How long have you been wearing makeup? Oh, about... 20 years? The Started when you were 20? <laughs> right. So you're going to relax. You're going to relax. We're having fun today. We are all the way in Temecula, California. Have you lived here for a while? Uh, 12 years. 12 years, nice. I've been in Beverly Hills for, you know, six years, oh, cool. Studio City before that, but yeah. So I want, we're going to do brows right now. I want to kind of show everyone brows. And um, you can check here on the paper. We're going to kind of draw a little grid. I learned this from a, a master in France. You draw four lines, a line right through the center of it. You can kind of see here what we're doing. Then you're going to want to point here point on the top and then you go in between those straight line over like that straight line and that's kind of going to give you the shape that you want for your brow. Pen's kind of funky. I love it. What happens as we get older? That's not the brow we have anymore. We usually, this droops a little bit, that droops, it goes like this and it goes like that. So we don't have the ascension that we used to have, two thirds going up and one third going down. So we want to bring it back to this. So let me show you with these dots, kind of how I train and teach people how to do it. So we're going to do it with the brow pencil. The color that I grabbed here is called Chantain. It comes with the powder that's rolled in wax so it doesn't dry out. And it has an eraser, which is really important on the other side. So we're kind of getting some good lighting. Janice, is that okay lighting like that? Yes. So for the first dot, corner of the nose to the corner of the eye, and you're going to put it right on the brow, and you're going to draw a nice little dot like that. Looks funny, huh? Can you kind of see like that? Can I watch like that? Yeah, you can watch. I'll have you put your mirror right over here, Flo. You see there? So see how we did corner of the nose, corner of the eye, and just draw a dot. Then we're going to kind of go on the iris from the corner of the mouth up to the iris. Gives you the high part, and I'm going to draw a dot there. Then you do in between those two, one third of the way, you find the middle point, and you want a straight line. I call it the Big Dipper or the Little Dipper. <laughs> then from there, it's a straight line across and it's a third of the way back and that gives you your end spot. And if you've done it right, your end spot should kind of line up from the corner of the nose to the corner of your eye and it puts it on like that. Perfect. You have your four dots in place. Then chin down a little bit. You're gonna draw a straight line to make the skeleton. So you're gonna kind of do connect the dots. So a straight line from here to here straight line from here to here and then a straight line going down now that's the skeleton looks kind of scary huh we've never let you leave like that once that's on we use the pencil to feather out and blend now we all get more and more skin here as we mature so i do like to fill in on the lower part of the brow too to minimize that but see i'm drawing little tiny hair likes Little tiny hairs gives it more dimension because sometimes it can look flat and drawn on. Yeah. So little tiny tiny marks, just like this. You don't have to do too much work. Just like that. That's neat. Once the brow's on, you don't be scared because remember I said you have an eraser. Take the eraser. And soften it. You don't have to be scared anymore, huh? That's a lot better. Now we did that pretty fast. You get to watch the video at home and you can learn step by step how to do that again. That's beautiful. Put it on, you can always add a little bit more back to it. You want your brow to be a little bit darker and more volume right through here. Square it up a little bit. Another thing that happens, I call it the tadpole brow. You get a nice big ball here and then a big arch. It's really easy to fill in the lower part of that. So there's not a ball there. You want it nice and straight. Ascending line, a nice slide. Erase with that. Make sure there's no more dots. I like that. Now the contrast is strong. We have a really dark brow with a really light skin. So we're gonna use a face powder. Let me go grab one real. So you can use any kind of a face powder. I grabbed a little bit of dual finish, just a big fluffy brush. And we want to kind of dumb down the edges and kind of dirty up the edges a little bit. And you put your powder around there. 
and it even covers up some of the brow color, so it looks like it's coming through, not sitting on top. Oh, that looks really good. That's your aha moment right there. Yeah, huh? It really is. It doesn't look harsh. Exactly. So when you're trying to get used to this, so powder covers light? it up. Right. Is that light? Just okay. the color of your skin tone. You can go a little bit lighter if you want, the highlight. But it just softens the whole wow. thing. Now let's That's see. Really let's see good. in the mirror. Let's see in the camera. Look at us straight on. Look at the camera. You can see what that brow does for that eye. One time Sissy Spacek was so late to an award show that she was presenting at, all I had time to do was her brows and that was it. But it's all you need for expression, it's all you need for um, framing the eye so you don't need a lot of eyeshadow to make that pop. Now when you try this at home, and say you've been doing the same brow for 20-30 years, people are used to seeing you like that. So they're going to say something's different about you. Don't take that as a bad thing. Right. Say what's different about me and see if they notice. They're going to usually think that you got like work done around your eyes or you got a lift or something like that. But a lot of times people get scared and they think, oh no, I, I can't do this because this isn't the way I've looked. So that's kind of the lesson. You can kind of see wow. how brows make a visit. So two thirds going up, one third going down. We want to try to get that with everyone. Well, that's awesome. Did you learn? Oh, I love it. So we'll put this on video online. You can watch how to do it. And I'm going to have you practice now on the other side. Now, the one thing I say, don't try to practice this tomorrow morning. When are you going to practice? Tonight. Right. You can take off. Yeah, you'll take off one side and you can still look at the other side. And, you can, and then just, I want you to go over the top of this too tonight before you wash your face. So you can kind of get that, trace it, and then do the other side. So. That looks nice. Really Thanks, nice. my flow. That's Thank fun. Thank you so much. Yeah.